we're now getting to the point where we're using this medium to, to really explore things about you know, telling stories and, and, and why, why we do the things we do. And, and this is a great, a great tool that we have. And, and, and to, to use this tool to the extent that we're capable of using it now, where the technology has allowed us to use it, we can, we can recreate things that, that you can't possibly experience. Brothers in Arms is a much more open game than most games. Most games force you down a narrow corridor. You have walls on either side of you. You don't have any real choices about how you're going to maneuver against your enemy. The real world doesn't work like that. World War II didn't work like that. These were open fields in Normandy, dotted with houses and walls and shrubbery and trees and so forth. That's the environment that we've put you into. Some of the cool new technology that we've built for Brothers in Arms is the glow effect that is becoming pretty famous as people look at the game, uh, the incredible vegetation that we have, um, the uh, trees that wave in the wind, the grass that waves in the wind and reacts to explosions and so forth. Um, and just amazing atmospheric effects that really put you into Normandy in 1944. To make the game challenging, we had to have a challenging enemy. That means the enemy has to employ tactics as well. He can't just stand there and shoot at you and look like a zombie. He's got to actually act like a human being. We've tried to create that. We believe that our artificial intelligence enemy is very sophisticated, the most you'll find in any other game. The enemy AI in the game is, is designed to be as reactive as possible. So. Um, we really want to, the, the enemy AI to behave in a way that will support um, the gameplay, so will support what the player does. So in order to kill these guys, you can't just run at them uh, and open up, or they'll open up on you. We have the whole concept of suppression in the game, and so the enemy AI uh, will react by behaving suppressed. If you put a lot of fire on an enemy unit, that enemy unit will get down behind cover and, and not shoot back as much at you. You have to get them uh, where they're terrified. You have to get them under cover and then move around where they can't see you and uh, sneak up on them and surprise them and blow them away with a barrage of your own fire. If the, player, uh, sends, if, if the player moves to one part of the map, then the level designers can use situational intelligence to tell the enemy units to move to a, to a spot that will flank the player. I think that uh, the players will find that the characters in the game believe more like you know real humans would in, in the situation in previous games on the shelf. When you're when you're talking to them in the world, when you, when you walk around literally in this 3D environment, you can walk up to a character and interact with him, and they look at you, and his eyes connect with your eyes, turns his head, and his eyes kind of track you, and it's almost creepy. One of the goals of, of the friendly AI was to create believable characters that the player could really empathize with. And so on top of the, the basic combat AI, there's also something that we have in called the battle dialogue system. And what that does is um, every once in a while you'll hear your teammates comment on, on the action. They'll say things like, uh, you know, I'm reloading, cover me. Cover me! We'll put some, you know, put some fire on that target. Suppressing fire! Fire at him! And that adds a lot to the believability of, of the characters. If you haven't seen this uh, for a while, or even if you haven't played a game um, uh, for the last year. Uh, this, this technology is something that will, it's, it's almost startling at first. It's really incredible magic and it's a lot of fun to be a part. Every day I think about uh, my time in the Army and I have uh, you know, moments where I say, God, the Army was never like this. And I kind of chuckle, but then I go, yeah, but this is also pretty neat. Stay